So let's begin with the topic of kingdom planting. So now our topic is regarding kingdom planting. So kingdom planting is being divided into algae, uh, bryophytes, and we have uh, pteridophytes. Gymnosperms, as well as angiosperms. So algae will come under the category of thallophyta because body is not differentiated. And bryophytes are the amphibians of plant kingdom. And pteridophytes are the first true vascular plants. Gymnosperms are flowerless plants. Angiosperms are flower plants. So coming to the part of algae, so algae is being differentiated into, we'll go with algae. Three major categories, that is chlorophycia, next thing we got is pheophycia, And next thing is rhodophycia. And coming to the chlorophycia, which is green algae. So we have uh, chlamydomonas, olvox, eulothrix. Pyrogyra, and next Pheophysia. We have uh, just remember self defense. Just remember this mnemonic of self defense. So, as for sargasm, E for ectocarpus. Laminaria, Fucus, and Dicciota. And for Rhodophysia, just remember PG. Porphyra, Polysiphonia, Gracilaria and Galidium. Okay. okay, these are the examples you have to remember. And next we'll go with the, so when it comes to algae, one thing we have to remember, chlorophycia is actually green algae. Theophycia is brown algae. Rhodophycia is red algae. And next, Bryophytes, so 
So bryophytes is of two types. Liver warts. Mosses. So here we have uh, Machentia and Sphagnum. So this we otherwise called as peat moss. And next it is Pteridophyta. So the pteridophyta consists of Silopsida, Spinopsida, Lycopsida, and Pteropsida. Or pterophyta. And coming to the example, so it is very easy to remember the example. Silophyta, it is silotum. And here we have selaginella and sorry, here we have equestum. So uh, equestum and for lycopsida you have selaginella and lycopodium and pterophyta we have dryopterus azola and we have salvinia okay so next we'll go with the uh, gymnosperms for the gymnosperms we have cycadales Coniferals, Gingoales, Genitales, Gentales, okay, and for Cycadales it is Cycus, for Coniferals it is Pinus. Remember for Cycus, the in roots that will be having cyanobacteria as a symbiotic association and ginkgo gales it is ginkgo and for genitals it is gentales ephedra and next angiosperms For the angiosperms, you have very importantly two things. If it has two cotyledons, then it is dicots. And if it is single cot, we have monocots. So dicots are mustard, sunflower, monocots are grasses. We have rice, corn, oats. All these things will come under monocots. Cereals. So this is the entire classification of plant kingdom. Okay. So I hope uh, you got the information regarding the classification. Thank you very much.